Hey everybody, we're back with another holiday recipe and this one was requested and it is rice pudding or rice custard. And anyway, um, we love that here so it's going to be um, good to make a big batch of it for the holidays. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put you down in the pot. And in here is half a gallon of milk, and I've used 2% milk. Um, it would taste richer if you use whole milk or add some cream or however you want to do it, but this is just the way I'm going to do it. So that's eight cups of milk. I put it on the stove on medium heat. You're going to want to leave it on medium heat for an hour, but before... Uh, you start your calculating uh, in your cold milk. Put one cup of long grain rice, uncooked long grain rice. And also, you're going to want to put one cup of granulated white sugar. So, I should get a better sugar container, I think. I'm going to have to pour it like this. So, I'm going to add that cup of sugar to that. And I'm going to give it a stir. And we're just going to wait an hour as this um, cooks. I'm going to put a lid on it. And when it comes to uh, its little bowl, I'm going to um, start my counting for one hour. Stir it every 10 minutes or so. And uh, after the hour's up, take it off the heat and let it sit for about 10 minutes. And once you've got that done, uh, we'll go on to the next step. So see you back in a minute. All right, this part of the recipe is done. And here is our um, uh, rice that has cooked in the milk. The milk has thickened up from the starch in the rice. As you can see, it did overflow some. You have to just be careful about um, getting the correct temperature so this will boil, but it won't boil over. And so I took my lid and I left just the tiniest little like um, air hole or something so steam could get out. And I turned it between medium and low, about halfway between medium and low, and that did pretty good once I got it situated. But I did have a spill, but that's okay. That happens in cooking. So you have your rice and your milk and your sugar done. So what you want to do now is get a bowl and... Let's see. Okay, you can see the bowl right there. And in that bowl, I'm going to put three eggs. And we'll beat those up. And I have this set for 10 minutes and kind of cooled a little bit. And now I have it back on the heat, but it's on low. So let your mixture be uh, on low heat. So I have the three eggs in here, and I'm just going to beat those up. Get those beat pretty well. To that, you're also going to add a fourth of a cup of milk, just the same milk you used 
in here is what I'm using if you'd like to use a heavier milk or just whatever you'd like to do. Mix that up with it. Then add about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and I'm using the pink Himalayan and I'm just going to shake out in my hand what I think a fourth of a teaspoon would be. And that looks about right. And also a teaspoon of vanilla. So you mix those together. And you need to temper your eggs before you put them in this mixture. If you don't, it's a good possibility that you will have... Um, cooked eggs in your custard and you don't want that so I'm going to take some of the rice and I'm going to put it in and immediately stir well I was going to immediately stir but anyway I'm going to put do this a couple times just to get my eggs tempered so they won't cook once I put them in the big mixture. So now, I'm going to go ahead and add them. And just take your wooden spoon. A wooden spoon is good to use with this. And stir away. Now on this part... You have to stir uh, at least a couple minutes, but you need to stir and stir and stir until this is the um, thickness that you want because once you pass this step, you can't go back if you don't have it thick enough. So I'm going to stir this, and it's fairly thick now, but I'm going to stir it and continue stirring it until... I have the um, thickness that I want, and then we'll go on to the next step. So I'll see you back in a minute. The rice pudding has gotten to the thickness that um, I think would uh, work real well. So now, uh, turn your burner off and put in some cinnamon, just whatever amount you think you would want. I'm just putting, I'm going to say a t maybe a tablespoon all together. And I'm also going to sprinkle just a little bit on top when I put it in the pan and it cools down some. So hopefully I've let it cook enough and um, it will set up good. So I'm going to put this here so that you can see. And I hope it doesn't splatter everywhere. So what I'm going to do now is take a, um, let me put you up here where I can talk to you. I'm going to take a sheet of aluminum foil and put over it and put a little, raise up a corner or two so that it can get some air to it and the steam can go out. And I'm going to let it sit until it uh, cools. Then I'm going to sprinkle a little cinnamon on it and I'll stick it in the refrigerator but at the time that I um, sprinkle the cinnamon, I'll taste it and we'll see what it tastes like. So, I'll see you in a minute. Our rice pudding has cooled down and I put the um, cinnamon on it. So now we're going to give it a try and see what we think. And here's what it looks like. 
and the consistency seems to be real good on it. So let's have a try. I like that a lot. It's very, very creamy. Not too much sugar. Cinnamon, it seems real good. I like it a lot. If I was going to do it again, I would probably put maybe just a little more rice in it. But otherwise, the taste is wonderful. So, that is... um our rice pudding custard recipe and I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you make some. Have a wonderful holiday and I will see you soon. Bye bye.